Good day everyone, it's Ivan here from Barenbrook Seeds. So today I'm standing here in our trials uh, at Skoch uh, or Langgewens research farm. So it's located between Marmersbury and Mariasburg in the Western Cape. So today I've got a good example of uh, three different uh, species of forage uh, brassicas in our, in, our, in our range. So there's often confusion about the differences between these species uh, and varieties. Uh, so I thought we could maybe just run through what the, the, the differences. So if, you, if we start from, from, from left, uh, you'll see this is a uh, interval forage rape. In the middle is a uh, MPT uh, forage turnip. And on your right hand side is a, uh, a Cordoba forage radish. So the differences, um, if we start at the, the, the rape, so rape is primarily used as a, a, as a forage or a pasture. You can see it's very leafy and it stays vegetative for, for, for quite, quite a period. Um, so it's good for grazing. If you look below ground, um, you can see that it's, it, it doesn't have such a large uh, taproot. Uh, it's not as large as your, your radish or your turnip, but it does have a taproot and it will still loosen up your soil, but not as, as much as the other options. So the primary purpose of this is, is, is definitely for grazing. If you move over to your, your, your forage turnip, you can see it's got a larger bulb uh, and it's, it's still got good above ground uh, biomass that, that's good for grazing. Uh, so this is, for me, it's uh, almost like an intermediate between your radish and your rape. Uh, it's best of both worlds. If we look at the radish, you can see suddenly it's, it's a much larger uh, taproot or bulb you've got below ground. So we use this primarily as, uh, as, as, as a cover crop to, to loosen up soil, but you can definitely graze it as well. It d does lose some of its palatability when it goes into seed. Uh, as you can see, it does go into seed quite, quite earlier than uh, your, your turnips and your rapes. So it does, um, it does, it does work for grazing, but uh, if, if grazing is your main objective, you'll definitely look at your other options. So yeah, I think it's important to look at the differences between these species um, and where they fit into your system. So yeah, I mean, if you'd like to, to, to have more information about where each of these fit in and where these would fit into your system, uh, please feel free to, to contact one of your, uh, your nearest Barenbrug representatives.